I was provided with a product sample to test. This will not affect my opinion about the product. Watch the entire video till the end to see my product rating. Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Edgar Model 2C53P handheld two-channel automotive tablet oscilloscope and multimeter included and a DDS signal generator included with a 50 megahertz bandwidth. 19999 counts, 250 milliseconds sampling rate, which is great, 4.3 inch touch screen. This product gets excellent customer ratings, has a one-year warranty. Inside there, there's a 4,000 milliamp hour battery with a battery life approximately four hours of use. So you can see what you have in front of you. You've got the uh, oscilloscope and uh, uh, you got two probes right there, the P6100s, multimeter probes right there, alligator clip probes right there, and data cable, product manager data cable right there for charging also, and the product manual. So this is a dual channel oscilloscope. The multimeter itself function on here, DC voltage, AC voltage. The signal generator function on here, zero to 10 megahertz. So this thing is loaded with functionality, which is really impressive. And look at the size of this, nice and small, got a full touch screen on this unit. And you can go to the menu, see where it says oscilloscope, multimeter, settings. So you have everything here. And then you also go to, uh, Signal generate that's the oscilloscope, signal generation, signal source right there. Uh, you can basically do a lot with this thing on this uh, setting right here. Touch screen makes it really great. You can see right here you have your input charge port and your power on off. I like the way they made it silver with a little uh, grid pattern on there. Very easy to feel that if you're not looking at the unit, you can easily feel it. This is where the signal generation is going to come out. And that's where it's going to use this dedicated cable right here that plugs right in there. Some kind of a micro cable. There's your channel one and your channel two. And then here is where you have your 10 amp, milliamp, common, and volt ohms right there. You're going to be putting that as a source. So we've got a lot to show here. Let's start off with the oscilloscope function on here. And before I connect these up, you could see there's a 1x and a 10x. Make sure you know that and you start off at, on, on the 1x position for testing so here's an example I'm using the signal source that is built into this I have the output cable right there and I've got to go into one of the channels and you can see it's a sine wave so I could go right here to the signal source and I've picked a sine wave right there I could change the amplitude or the duty cycle right here and uh, right with a little touch screen which is great. I can also punch in different values. And then when I go right here, back to oscilloscope, I'm seeing the signal right there. When you hit auto, what it's doing, it's gonna auto sync to it and show you the signal. So you don't have to worry about stepping through the settings on there. So if I go to the second channel right here, and I put the connector on right there, now I'm going to both signals, and you can see right here that it's, it's uh, let's auto-correct that one. Now you're seeing you've got both the sine waves right there displayed in front of you. And it's really nice because you can move along just like that and actually change the wave. You can see it goes in different expansions on there. But you have full control of what you're looking at on here with the touch screen or using the settings on there. So right off the bat, you've got a signal source and I'd also be able to look at it. Now, of course, you want to look at signal sources that are on your car or in your lab. And we're going to show you that also. I just wanted to demonstrate how easy that works. Now I'm on the multimeter function and I plugged in the multimeter right there for ground common and plus. And I have the two included leads. I love what they did here. They put these really sharp, these points so that you can go into your perf board and be able to measure things. So right on here, I could touch these two leads together and it knows I want to measure resistance, continuity, and it gives me the resistance of the actual cut the wire itself. And here I have a multimeter, and you see 31 volts, and I connected the leads to it, and it automatically knew that I was measuring voltage, and it shows me the voltage right there, and it's very accurate, it tells exactly what's on my, my power supply right there. And here I have a very low high power resistor and showing me it's 5.5 volts, which is exactly right. 
and it's beeping because in its mind it is a short because it technically is a short circuit. But that allows you to measure resistance. So in the menu setting you have choice of language, you have screen brightness, you have the sound level, you could change the theme on there, you have auto shutdown off for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, USB sharing which means you could connect that data cable to get some of the data and you have factory reset on there. In the multimeter function you could hit the gear button right there and then you have auto, temperature, uh, capacitance, you have temperature, capacitance measuring voltage, continuity, resistance, amperage, and milliamp hour or auto. So you have a lot of choices on there. On the back of the unit there is a nice stand so that you could stand it up on your work table which is nice. Here I have an example of it measuring current. So I'm on the amp setting and it shows you the time base. So you see the step function when I first connected it. Minus 0.467 amps and that's corresponding to the amperage that's coming out of here at that voltage because I'm going into that resistive load right there. So if you're going to go measure milliamps you have to go to this right here and change the gear to be on milliamp hours. When you're measuring current and you're on the amp setting you typically want to measure something half an amp and greater. When you're on a milliamp hour setting make sure that you don't exceed one amp so you don't blow the fuse inside the unit. And don't exceed 10 amps when you're feeding the current into the amp section. And here's an example of milliamp hours. I've got the milliamp hour plug-in and the common and it's showing me milliamp hours and I select it on the gear for milliamp hours and it's correct. It's measuring the actual milliamp hours properly. So here I'm on the multimeter setting and I, I picked the gear right here and I picked capacitance I picked capacitance right there and I got it to a capacitance box and it's correct to show me the actual capacitance of all these different components on here so that's great for checking the capacitance on your car there might be a capacitor that could be uh, damaged you put it across it and you can actually get a reading of the capacitance that's on a module or some electronic component or in your test lab. And here I'm just going to demonstrate with a resistor box that I have. It's going to measure ohms. I just went to the gear box, gear setting, went to ohms and I can get all the different readings on here and it's very accurate. It's right exactly matching what's on this resistor box. And another basic function is the car battery or motorcycle battery in this case this is a lithium polymer battery lithium phosphate and you can see it's showing me it's 13.339 volts which is matching the uh, display on here telling me that's correct so very versatile just to measure voltage I put it to auto and it automatically went and measured the voltage so after testing what do I think about the FNI RSI brand their model 2C53P their handheld two channel Automotive, tab, automotive tablet oscilloscope and multimeter and DVS signal generator with that 50 megahertz bandwidth. Really, really cool product. I just basically touched on the surface of this. There is a ton of menu settings on here. I could do a five hour videos on this thing with all it has. The basic functionality of this thing is great to look at waveforms, to use the signal generation function, dual channel. You can look at two different events on your car or in your test lab. This thing is totally portable with the stand on there. Current measurements, amps and milliamp hours, voltage, capacitance, diode checking. This thing has it all and it's just barely bigger than my hand and about one and a quarter inch or less thick. So that display is really high tech also. You can see it in all different angles. It's an IPS screen. Totally impressed with this. This is the kind of thing that you want to have in your lab have when you're working on your car. If you're a techie person, this is great to have for your weekend jobs. This is perfect. So I'm impressed with this product. I'm going to give it a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. 
And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There will be an ordering link in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.